Supreme being is one <laughs> many times um, there's a very big difficulty in the communication between twin flames and I've spoken about this before that in our experience um, the deep reason for that is the emotional blockages but there is something else that makes it difficult to understand your twin flame and actually this is the essence of the twin flame connection and the essence is that we are opposite and the same at the same time now let me explain that better so that we can understand each other and i really hope this video is going to help you understand your twin flame better twin flames are technically like we said in the previous video it is one soul that was split into two so we are coming from the same aspect of ego yes that's right we have to speak about ego here because Ego is our essence and ego is what we come to experience here on earth as well. And so a twin flame couple, they both together are coming from the same aspect of ego. However, there's a slight difference of how this ego is approached in each one of you. And because the one has a more yin and the other has a more yang charge, because of this, even though you are the same aspect of ego, but it will be with the opposite charge. Let's say, if I have to compare it with something very material so that you can understand it better let's say we are the same type of cups we have exactly the same shape the same height the s exactly the same dimensions but the one cup is red and the other is blue i'm gonna use different colors rather than white and black because that's what we always speak about when we talk about the yin yang but the truth is that yin yang opposite is not just white and black it can be in other dimensions as well anyways so let's say the one cup is red and the other cup is blue and even though the cups are still going to function the same way but for example when you put a liquid inside it will look very different because of the different color these two cups have and the same is for a twin flame couple so if the same the one of the twin flame couple is more on the low ego the other will be more on the higher aspect of the ego but it will be the same aspect of ego again i'm underlying this because this is essential this is actually why we are the same but we are different at the same time and if we understand this we have hacked half even more than half more than 50 percent of our connection with our twin flame we have already improved it just by understanding this aspect you know i have been investigating and observing exactly this fact for a very long time now we've been together with andre for about five and a half years and i have been observe observing this from the very beginning and i couldn't grasp it at the beginning how can we be so having the same views about certain topics but at the same time be so different and eventually i started putting these ob observations in our daily life for example 
I'm gonna uh, give you a very very material example again so that it's easier to understand when we were in Bali for example uh, we were going with a scooter all the time um, and I am a driver myself as well but Andrew was driving most of the times because uh, I'm not very good at scooters and motorbikes let's say and whenever we had to make a maneuver I was always thinking myself I'm gonna imagine which way the maneuver is best to do and I'm gonna observe what Andrew will do let me tell you there has never been even a single time that he would do what I would imagine so in my perception the maneuver the maneuver let's say would be to go to the right and turn this way around so we can come out from wherever we are but he would go to the left and I would not say that his maneuver or the one that I had in my head was better than each other they were both very good they were just totally different perceptions of exactly the same result because that's what we want to focus on on the result from each situation so if we understand this we are able actually to give space and freedom to our twin flame to function based on their own polarity of the ego and it is quite for sure that the result will be the same as what we have imagined might be a little bit different but the functionality let's say of the result will be the same so it may not come out the same shape the say exactly the same way what we imagine but the function that it will perform will be the same and that's where we have to focus on that's what we have to trust the final result even though we are not able to see it very well because we are going through a totally different direction to achieve the same result in our head but we just have to trust we have to trust the final result that is about to come so it's all about having faith in each other of what we are doing that eventually it will take us exactly where we are feeling as well to go so there is a lot about trust here and faith and if we master that which really comes through experience it's not going to happen just like this with a click of a button but if we practice this on a daily basis slowly slowly step by step you will see how intellect is vast it's not a straightforward uh, thing but to be intellectual to be intelligent actually doesn't mean to always go a certain direction intelligence can be achieved in many other ways it's just for us to build patience and trust in this process where it is taking us into and most of all to have trust and believe in your own twin flame and yourself most of all you are the two most important souls of this earth that you could ever meet